Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video, mukbang and cooking show. So everybody, let's go check out my video. If you want to get it right, come join Delicious Bites. Check it, check it, video, check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. If you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well so you never miss out on another delicious bite or in this case, another delicious and easy recipe. So you guys, we're doing Meatless Monday on a Tuesday. It is what it is. Roll with me. Okay, so <laughs> I've been trying to make this risotto for at least three weeks. So I have the Priano Roasted Garlic Risotto. Pick this up at Aldi's. And in my pan over here that you can't see, but I'll move you in, I have two and a half cups of water. I'm going to add to my risotto some asparagus, some mushrooms. I know, Maria, you don't like mushrooms. Leave those out, sis. And some fresh shaved Parmesan cheese, also from Aldi's. Meatless. Here we go. So I've already saved you guys the time of watching me chop vegetables. They're chopped up already. So all you have to do is open the package and now I got to smell everything and put it in the in the water, in the skillet. The trick with risotto that I've learned is you got to stir it. You got to stir it. You got to stir it. So let's sit this here. I'm going to bring y'all over. Let me see. Hold on. All right. So this is what the skillet is looking like. I'm going to add, it said you could add a tablespoon of butter. I'm going to add my tablespoon of butter. Well, I'm going to eyeball it. It's probably not really a tablespoon. But it's some butter. We're going to get it in here. It's a little less, actually. Let me put a little more on there. There we go. I'm going to give this a stir. How's everybody doing today? I hope you are doing well, blessed, and highly favored. I hope your Mother's Day was amazing. Mine was. If you saw my video, sitting up crying, you know I had a good one. If you haven't seen that video, what I got for Mother's Day. Or no, what was it? It was a good day. I think that's what I, I titled that video. It was a good day. So anyway, pop on over and check that out. My Mother's Day was amazing. So to this mixture, I am going to go ahead and add in my vegetables. Putting those in there right now because they need to cook and soften up as well. The cheese won't go in right now. It's gonna go in a little bit later. All the kids in the pool. It's been a minute since I've done a cooking video, you guys, but I'm back. <laughs> so we're gonna let this do its thing. It's supposed to go for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and get my Parmesan cheese, shredded up and ready to go. And I like to use my little micro plane to do that. I'm not going to bore you with watching me shred cheese. We'll be back in just a bit. So you guys, typically I'm sure you don't think of risotto as a main course kind of meal. You probably think of it as a side dish. But... I've added the asparagus, so you got your veg, the risotto, of course, is the rice, and that's your carb, and then the mushroom is your protein, so it becomes a full meal to me, because um, as we well know, well, as my friend D from D Diets, hi D. if you guys don't know who she is, you are missing a treat, get over to D Diet. she is living a fabulous plant-based life, and she informed me today, as I was watching her video, that mushrooms have as much protein in them as steak. So you tell me that this is not a full meal. You've got your protein, your veg, and your carb all in one skillet. So 
this is Meatless Monday on a Tuesday. <laughs> you guys, I'm doing the best I can. I'm doing two channels and everything is just all discombobulated at the moment. I'm, I'm doing what I can do. So we're going to do Meatless Monday on a Tuesday because I didn't cook yesterday to have this up for you guys on Meatless Monday. I didn't, I didn't. It was Mother's Day, so that's why. But anyway, this is a full meal, you guys. So we're just going to let this cook. It's only been cooking for about 7 or 8 minutes. It needs to cook for at least 15, 20. And it will start to thicken up on its own. And once it does that, I'm going to go ahead and throw in my fresh shaved parm. Now, they didn't say put that much parm in there on the back of the bag, but you know I don't follow directions. It said a tablespoon. What is a tablespoon about to do? We need more than that. I want it creamy and rich and... If it's not going to have meat, it's going to have creamy rich. So we'll be back when it's ready to add the cheese. So you guys, the risotto has been cooking for about 15-20 minutes. You see how thick it's gotten? I'm going to turn it down. And if it gets too thick, you can add a little more water to it. And then I would absolutely taste it to make sure the rice is actually cooked all the way through because it is, I believe, a boreo rice and it is a thicker kind of grained rice. So it does take a little longer to cook than your regular uh, long grain white rice. So I'm gonna give it a taste now to see if the rice is tender. It actually is really good, but it needs a little more time. So I'm gonna turn it back up. I'm gonna add some more water and let it go for a little while longer. So now you guys, we're at the point where you turn it off and you add in the cheese. So let's get a big handful of fresh shaved parm and just add it in. Yum. When I tasted it, it didn't need salt or anything. And this is what makes it nice and creamy. Of course, it's the cheese. Let's see if I can bring you in a little closer. More cheese, please. Nothing better than fresh shaved parm. Nothing. It smells so good, you guys. Oh my goodness. And I know you guys want me to taste it, but it is 9 o'clock at night. My fasting window is closed, so... We will be tasting this tomorrow. And we're going to bring this video to a close. Here it is. Mushroom and asparagus risotto. I hope you guys like this content. If you do, please give it a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Tell everybody about these Delicious Bites. Maybe they'll stop by and have a delicious bite with me as well. Come back tomorrow when we will have a delicious bite with this risotto. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. <laughs> Bye.